technical indicators. An indicator is the most important tool for technical analysis. Decisions about how and when to trade can be made on the basis of technical indicator signals. The essence of technical indicators is a mathematical transformation of a financial symbol price aimed at forecasting future price changes. This provides an opportunity to identify various characteristics and patterns in price dynamics which are invisible to the naked eye. How to run an indicator on the chart. You can use indicators command from the insert menu or the shortcut button icon within your standard toolbar. A technical indicator can be drawn in a separate indicator window with its own vertical scale, for example, MACD, or applied directly onto a price chart such as a moving average. So let's go over a couple examples of how to add an indicator on the chart. I already have a few added. Let's just go ahead and delete these indicators for now. So we start with a clean, fresh chart. All right, now you can see the insert menu tab at the top here. If I go to indicators, it will give me a sub-menu of indicators you can see here. All right, objects are drawing tools, which we'll cover later. You also have expert EA advisors and so forth and scripts, but we're going to cover strictly indicators. All right, so you can see here you have different category groups from trend, oscillators, volume, Bill Williams, and custom. And these will just basically give you the indicators that are specific to that category group. Uh, let's go ahead and show you another option as well if you want to use shortcut toolbar. So this is a little shortcut icon here. You can notice the menu option is exactly the same when you click on insert here. Now by default, this shortcut is not in the toolbar. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to remove it just for a second. And you can see that there's no shortcut icon. So if you're looking for the indicator shortcut within your toolbar, you have to add it if you don't already have it added. So if I right click within the toolbar, if you right click outside the toolbar, I'm doing it right now as we speak, nothing happens. So you have to actually right click within the toolbar to get this menu option. Hit customize and now you're searching for the indicator shortcut icon. And there it is there. Highlight and insert and then it's up to you how you want to organize it. If you want to move it up further up the ladder or perhaps just keep it where it is, it's up to you. For now, I'm just going to keep it there. Hit close. Now you can see it's, it's been added into the toolbar. If I hit the drop down, you can see I can add the indicator. So let's go ahead and do that. It's fairly simple. Let's go ahead and use the two examples, MACD and moving average. And you can see the difference in display of both indicators. All right, we'll stick with these values. We'll cover these properties later. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and add the indicator. Notice that the MACD is a subchart within the main chart, so it creates a subchart at the bottom of the chart. And also, if we go to moving average, you can see now it adds the indicator over the main chart, so it does not create a subchart. All right, so there's two different types of displays here. We have an indicator overlaying the main chart, and we have an indicator that was created as a subchart, which essentially split the chart, as you can see here. All right, you can also change the settings of an applied indicator. So as you can see, we've already added the indicator onto the chart. The settings of a running indicator can be changed. Just simply select the required indicator in the indicator list and click Properties or use the indicator t uh, context menu on the chart itself. So let's show, a, show you a couple ways to modify settings of an indicator once they are already applied. So in this case, we have the MACD and the moving average. So one way is just simply right-clicking directly with your mouse on the indicator itself. And when you do that, this is the sub-context menu that you see, and it's specific to that indicator that you right-clicked over. So in this case, MACD. Go to Properties of MACD, and now we're right back to the Property section of the MACD itself, and you can go ahead and make your changes accordingly. Another way as well, if you right click on the chart, you'll see within the context menu indicator list, and this is a bit different because this will then show you the entire list of indicators that are added on the chart. So instead of being specific to this, that just modifying that specific indicator, I have now the entire list of all indicators that are applied onto the chart. So in this case, moving average and MACD. Simply left click to select whichever indicator you'd like to edit. So in this case, moving average, and hit properties, and then you'll be right back to the property section of that indicator. All right, so those are two different demonstrations of how to add, or better yet, how to add the indicator as well as making changes to the indicator once it's already applied onto the chart. Real quick, I want to show you a couple things from this context menu. Pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure you have an idea how to, I want to give you brief definitions of which, uh, what each one of these menu options represent. So properties is basically going to open up the, the indicator properties. Delete indicator will remove the selected indicator from the chart. Delete indicator window will delete the indicator sub-window 
Uh, this command is only available in the context menu of indicators running in a separate sub-window. So for example, the MACD. Notice delete indicator windows there, but watch when I right click here, you see how that's grayed out because technically that the uh, moving average is not a sub-chart. So that's why you can't create, you can't delete the indicator window because technically it didn't create an additional window within the chart itself. All right, and then you also have the indicator list, which will open the indicator list window, which is the same window that we just saw just a moment ago. How to customize the indicator appearance. You can conveniently customize the appearance of indicators in the trading platform. You can set up the indicator parameters when applying it to a chart or modify them later. The indicator appearance is adjusted on the properties tab. Indicator line, color, width, and style are set up within the style field. So keep in mind that display of various elements can be individually configured for Ichimoku, the alligator, and custom indicators. The line color, width, and type can be set on the colors tab. So going back, it, this is uh, we've already covered how to get to the menu option to change the indicator. So let's kind of let's go over some of the properties within the uh, the property section itself. All right. So let's go over the, the moving average here, for example. I'm gonna right click. So here's a good example. Right now, if you look, the moving average is a bit thin. It's kind of hard to see it behind the candles. Maybe I want to thicken that up a bit. So if I right click on the indicator, go to properties. This is the style tab, and as mentioned, you can change you know the color. You can change the style, whether you want a solid line or broken line, or if you want to change up the, the weight or the width, make it thicker. So in this case, we want to make them a little thicker. All right, maybe maybe choose a different color so it stands out a little more, so maybe perhaps a red color instead. If we click OK, now you can see there's, there's much more of a visual that we can see on the moving average behind those black candles. All right, so again, you've got to right-click on the indicator, go to Properties. You can make your changes accordingly. Now, there's different indicators that will have different menu options specific to whatever that indicator may be. So if you notice here, the moving average, of course, will have properties specific to the moving average, such as period, method, exponential, and so forth. If you look here, the MACD is a bit different. All right, so just it's, depending on the function of the indicator, you're going to have different settings to change. Now, another thing I want to show you for custom indicators, such as the alligator, for example. Let me go ahead and add that. I'm going to go to custom here, and it's going to go to alligator and just simply add the indicator. So now it's added. Now you'll notice if I go here, if you want to change the colors, for example, for a custom indicator, typically most of the time, instead of seeing a style tab, which we just saw for the moving average, you would then see the colors tab instead. So this is where you would make your changes instead. All right. So because if you notice here, you're not going to see that style option. So you'd have to click on colors, and now you can change your width, your style, and your color from the colors tab. So again, depending on what indicator you have added on the chart, different menu options will be available to you. Typically for custom indicators, you'll probably have a colors tab versus the moving average indicator. You can see there's a style tab from the parameters tab here. Another thing as well, there are different variants of how the indicator construction is available to you. So how the indicator is being plotted on the chart. Uh, let's go ahead and show you what that means. I'm going to go right back into the properties of the indicator, the moving average. And you notice here method. If I hit this, or better yet, apply to, if you see this drop down menu here, you have different options. So if by default you can see it's on close, if it's on close, that we, that we, the indicator will be based on close prices. Open would be based on open prices. High, high prices, low, low prices. Median would, would be uh, based on the median price, high plus low divided by two. Typical price would be based on the typical price, high plus low plus close divided by three. And then you have weighted close. Weighted close would based on the average weighted close price, which would basically be high plus low plus two times close divided by four. So you have different uh, options. You can choose how you want the indicator to be constructed off just by simply hitting the drop down menu here and choose whichever option is your preference. How to set up additional indicator levels. For some indicators, additional levels can be enabled. If you open the levels tab, click add and enter the level value in the table, you can also optionally add the level description as well. The line color, width, and style for the levels can be set up below to enter a level. Click edit or double click in the appropriate field. So just keep in mind for indicators applied to a price chart, levels are drawn by summing the indicator values and the specified level. For indicators drawn in a separate sub-window, levels are drawn as a horizontal line through the specified value on the vertical scale. All right, so if you, for example, would like to create additional levels of a moving average. All right, so we'll go back to that same indicator. I'm going to go and right-click, 
I'm going to go to properties and moving average, and then you'll have a levels tab that you see here. All right, so this is where you're going to be able to, based on your preference, create additional levels for that particular indicator. So what you'll need to do is simply hit add. You could type in your value here, and then you can also type in the description if you want some sort of text on the actual level itself. All right, so that's going to create a basic example. So right now I have a 10 period moving average. I'll just do 20, for example, and I'll just label it test. One thing that I've noticed uh, when I was adding these levels and playing around with these settings, you have to keep an eye at the bottom here. So if you notice here, this is a, this, similar to the style tab. You can choose the color, whether you want a solid uh, style for the indicator itself or dotted or broken, or and also the width of the indicator. If you have a white background chart and if you have this set to white, you're not going to see the level because the white's going to blend in with the white background. So just be sure to choose a color of the level that's going to stand out within the background. So if you have a white background, you might want to choose a darker color so you can actually see the level. So if I choose, for example, red, and then we click OK, you know, you're going to be able to add that level. So just be sure that uh, you keep it, you be mindful of that. And then again, if you want to change, so the levels are, are separate, they're independent from the actual parameter style itself. So you'd have to go here and make those changes to the additional levels. Indicator display settings. The indicator display for different time frames, also known as period, can be set up on the visualization tab. The indicator will only be displayed for the selected time frames. This can be useful when the indicator is designed for use on specific time frames. So this particular feature allows you to have the indicators displayed if you only want them displayed for a specific time frame. So right now I'm using a one minute chart on the, the December 30 year treasury bond as you can see here. And watch what happens if I right click, go to properties of the moving average, you'll see the visualization tab here. By default, all time frames are selected. All right, so if you're the trader that, you know, maybe you have multiple charts open and you only want only specific time frames to plot the moving average, you can go ahead and customize that. What you're going to want to do is uncheck all time frames, so therefore the indicator is not applied to all time frames. And then the next step is getting in there and choosing which time frames you want the indicator to be applied to. So let me show you an example. You can see that the moving average is added for this one minute chart. If I click this little plus sign here, which will drop down all the additional time frames, watch what happens when I uncheck one minute. You can see there's an X. I click OK. And notice now the indicator is removed. And that's because I've now disabled the indicator to be plotted on a one minute time frame. All right, so now to re-add it, we're going to right click on the chart. We're going to go to indicator list. You can see the moving average is still there, but it's not being plotted for a one minute chart. Therefore, it's not displayed on the one minute time frame. If I go back to properties, I go back here. If I check it again, click OK, now you can see the indicator reappears. If you have no use for this function and you, you always want indicators to be applied to all time frames, then it might be ideal for you just to make sure that all time frames is selected, which is usually the default option. And this is a basic introduction to inserting indicators within MetaTrader 5. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team. You can reach us at 312-893-6400, extension 1 gets you transferred directly to our help desk. Otherwise. Please stay up to date on our YouTube channel. You can visit us at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for listening in. We appreciate your valuable time and happy trading.